Kelly Hobart from Alpaca Direct, and I'm here talking about a zipper join using a crochet hook. And this is a fantastic way to join. It's almost a decorative join. It gives you this nice line of chain stitches up your work, and it looks relatively, if you look on the back of it, it's very flat looking on the back as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do this today, and it's pretty easy. Um, first of all, you want your right sides facing, and you want to have at least um, three times the length that you're going to be working on. So a nice long length of yarn. So I'm going to turn this in the other direction just so I can show you how to do it, okay? <clears throat> you can either use a slip stitch, or excuse me, a slip knot, or you can choose not to. When I'm doing this right now, I'm going to not do the slip knot. I'm just going to join it. And actually I want to take it from the first pearl bump or as close as I can to the very bottom of my work. And I want to, the important part for this is to take it from the back because when you take it, you're going to be, it will be showing. So it's better to have it go from the back and then it'll look good. Let's just take this so you go there. All right. And then I'm going to take my tail and put it out of the way. And I'm going to keep my working yarn in the back. All right. And then I'm going to reach back here and you're doing it on every stitch. Okay. So one loop from that side in the back and one from this side and then we yarn over and bring that through and then you go back over to this side again and you pick a loop from the back over there and you go to the next stitch over here on this right hand side and I'm just trying to find some of the best ones that look good. And there you go. And then drop that working yarn there. Grab a loop from that side. Go into the next one over here. Grab a loop from that side. Do a yarn over. Come on. And bring it Oops, it's wanting to get caught. One second here. Okay. There. All right. Then, you can see this is a little tiny bit fiddly, but it actually looks really good when it's done. So, and I imagine if I did it for a while, it would get easier and easier. Then I go to the next, oops, I have my working yarn on the outside. Don't want it on the outside. You want it in the back because it will make, it'll show if you don't put it in the back. And if you see my chain stitches are starting to develop. So that's what it looks like and it makes a really nice decorative edge. And so that's how you use a zipper join to connect your blocks in the building block pattern book.